Hi, let's take a look at the vertical bar charts. Let's go to our project panel, go to the vertical bar chart folder, twirl that down. As you can see, we have 12 bar chart compositions here, and each of these are numbered according to how many bars are in that chart. And if we go to the vertical bar chart comp down at the bottom, double click that to open it up. This is the render comp. And we can turn on whichever data set we want. So if we wanted to use a bar chart with seven bars, we'll just turn on the 07 bar chart layer. And to change the data, we will need to open this bar chart composition. So you can either open it from the project panel, select the 07 bar chart and double click to open. Or if you go back to the vertical bar chart, composition, you can always just double click on this layer in the timeline and that will open up your composition. Let's go to our enter chart data on keyframe below marker layer. You will, as the layer indicates, enter your data underneath the layer marker. So let's hit you and our keyboard with that layer selected and double click on the keyframes beneath the layer marker to change your data. There you go. Let's go to our effects controls panel and set your maximum value. So if you didn't want to use percentages, if you wanted to use instead a dollar amount, um, and let's say it's 500, let's enter 500 here in our effects controls panel. And as you can see, all of our bars will resize dynamically uh, depending on what our data is in relation to the maximum value and the data that you have entered. If we go back into our enter chart data layer, go to our bar data O2 slider and double click on that second keyframe. And let's make this 450. You'll see that our number, our bar obviously gets bigger. Our number has changed and our percent symbol um, is right on top of the number. And you can change that. You can just move that over, select that and move it. But obviously we are not using the percent symbol. And to change that, we will go to the bar and number color size and decimal layer. Go to our effects control panel and towards the bottom, you'll see a checkbox for the dollar symbol. We'll turn that on and we will deselect the percent symbol. And so now we have a dollar sign. If you wanted to change that to, I don't know, something else, um, all you'll need to do is just change this first, the first dollar sign. Let's change to an H. And as you can see, all the other symbols have changed and those are all connected to this first um, dollar symbol through an expression. So let's change that back to a dollar sign. And if we use our select tool, we can select these dollar sign or dollar simple layers and just reposition them. And let's select our bar and number color size decimal layer. Go back to our effects controls and we can change the number and symbol size. If wanted to make those bigger or smaller. We can do that with this slider control. Um, if you needed decimal places, you can enter however many you need. We'll change that back to zero. And you can change your bar colors here as well with your color picker. And you can also change the label of this bar chart. And we have, we have it labeled seven bar charts, but if you wanted to change that, you can select the text layer in the timeline, double click that and now it is editable. If we go back to our vertical bar chart, you can see all of our data has been updated, um, our maximum value, our new color, and our new label. If you wanted to change the main text area, you would do that here in the vertical bar chart um, composition.